Hi there, America. The world. Love ya. This is the first video I've shot since our channel has reached the milestone of 500 subscribers. And I just wanted to do something to celebrate that. Dennis here is one of our subscribers and he has been nice enough to volunteer to come out here and help me with some work here on our homestead. My pleasure. Nice. I remember when I went, when I was a kid, I went to a children's zoo and it was set up similar to this. And I've never seen anything like it since until today. So I brought back some childhood memories and then we got here. Just amazing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Taking me home. I don't know what my wife's going to say, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> now the boy goats might actually lick you back. Okay. <laughs> you tried that. Uh, most of them are most of them are Nigerian dwarf. Okay. But indigo is a Nubian, so larger goat. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a goat this stick before. Here you go. Good job. <laughs> Here. Oh, you want some too? Are we gonna do this? Indigo usually gets the treats. <laughs> she can reach them before everybody else. All right. You got it. Right on. Like this. Ginger there is Indigo's daughter, so she is half Nubian, half Nigerian dwarf. And of course, the ears and coloration, she looks a lot like Indigo there. She does. Just so Dennis here gets the full experience of farm life here on the homestead, I'm gonna have him replenish the water in our chicken coop. Following. Yep, first thing I do, very first thing I do is get a treat for the chickens and they know what this is. Look at that. <laughs> and I will typically toss it out of the way yeah. so they're busy over there. Okay. All right, now we can go in. And feel free to pull in some, pull in some hose. That should be enough, probably. With this type of waterer, we just undo it from this little holding area. Okay. And then Screw it down onto here so no more water comes out. That's to fill it, okay. Then you take off the top and I just fill it with a hose. Okay, you ready? Yep. And then you guys will probably pick it if I try to touch it. Oops, sorry. No, good. But I usually do this once a day. Okay. Yeah. So they go through quite a bit of water. Yeah, it would last two days, but you know, if I forget a day or something, if I can't get to it, or they're not going to run out of water. It's a very clean pan. Well, thank you. One of the hardest jobs of maintaining chickens is mucking out the chicken coop. Mucking out the chicken run and the chicken coop. Yeah. Perfect. Are you the big big man in charge? <laughs> Wally is a loud chicken in charge. All right, guys. Oh, you stay back. All right. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm just gonna crack it open. <laughs> I just, uh, I just handed Dennis here a brand new, freshly. We just heard the chicken lay this egg, and it's the first time he's held an egg that fresh. 
absolutely amazing. Isn't that cool? Wow, life cycles. Yeah. Wow. Now I was saying that this is an olive agar. It was one of the one of the chickens that we hatched ourselves from from our own chicken eggs in an incubator. Look how clean that is. <laughs> They're not always and that clean. Super warm. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. What a cool experience. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've delivered babies, but never watched chicken. <laughs> this is the first video I've shot since our channel has reached the milestone of 500 subscribers. And I just wanted to do something to celebrate that. Dennis here is one of our subscribers, and he has been nice enough to volunteer to come out here and help me with some work here on our homestead. My pleasure. Nice. Dedicated viewers may remember from one of our favorite videos, Goats Born When Tree Hits the Barn, that Wendy challenged me to reach 500 subscribers with the incentive of buying a drone for our channel. Well, here it is. It's a DJI Air 2S and it's got a lot of really cool features. I still need to learn how to fly this, so no aerial footage in this video. It's something to look forward to in upcoming videos. Thank you, Wendy, and thank you to all of our subscribers. Our youngest chickens here in the mobile chicken coop, they've, uh, they've grown up. They're ready to be integrated with the rest of the flock. I should have probably done this earlier, it's just we've been busy. Wendy hasn't been able to help me. She's been pretty busy. It's definitely a two-person job, so I'm very grateful for Dennis's help. All right, the reason it's a two-person job is I could chase these chickens all day from one end to the other without catching them. Having the second person kind of hurt them my direction makes it a little easier. Okay. So, let's see if anybody wants to come within range here. Okay. There's one. Okay. All right, this is, this is one of the cream leg bars. Relax, Shh. it's okay. Cream leg bar chickens have a good temperament low aggression towards other chickens, and tolerate confinement pretty well. They lay a really beautiful blue egg. Another really good reason to consider cream leg bar chickens is their auto-sexing. It can be difficult to tell when the chickens are baby chicks whether they're male or female. Well, this breed has distinctive markings that are different in males and females, so you don't have to worry about accidental roosters. And really, we have a couple of roosters already, so we don't need any more. What we need are the hens that lay more eggs. They'll usually be pretty calm if you hold them so that they can't flap their wings. And, and this is kind of interesting. If you've, got, if you've got a good hold on their legs, you can just hold them upside down Oh, sorry, sorry, I got one, of, got one of your legs. I'm sorry. Here, let me, I might have to demonstrate on another chicken. <laughs> Hold still. It's okay. It's okay. Anyways, the chicken will usually just kind of go zen when you put them in upside down position like this. Nice. And you just kind of want the chicken to be relaxed. Makes it easier for the transport. Yep. Occasionally. Let's grab one of these. Okay. These dark ones are the black copper moran. Black copper moran chickens lay a really cool looking dark egg. It's like, like a chocolate colored egg. They would probably prefer a little more free ranging than what we'll be able to allow them here. And they're not really known as a cuddly chicken. But the hens are supposed to be relatively docile and quiet, 
They're an average egg layer in terms of quantity, but the quality of their eggs is said to be unsurpassed. See, now this is so great. We've got them right over here where I can get them. It's okay. All right, now the white ones are the light Brahmas. Yes. You're a big bird. Okay. Light Brahmas are known as gentle giants. They're a larger bird, but pretty easy going. They do require a little more feed because they are larger, but they're a good egg layer, and they're really superior when it comes to winter egg laying. And that's what we need. As the days get shorter, our egg production really drops. So having proportionally more eggs in the winter is really a good thing. Would you like to try and catch one? Sure. All right, let's uh, trade places. I'll let you go around there and... And don't worry about hurting them, though, either. You can grab them by the tail feathers and get a better hold on them. Okay. It's okay. I it's gotcha. okay. You're going to be all right. I gotcha. They've got, gotcha. they've got little feather feet on there. <laughs> Hi there. Hi there, America. The world. Love you. <laughs> Nicely done. There we go. Yeah, the cream leg bars are a pretty bird, I think. You are a beautiful thing. Look at you. Yeah. Hi. Those will have blue eggs, believe it or not. Okay. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. There we go. Say hello to the world. Or, or don't. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right, good. All right, so, so folks who've seen our channel before know that when we move chickens, we like to use this cage. We'll keep them in it with some water and put this directly into the chicken coop so they can see the other chickens and the other chickens can see them. They'll get a chance to get to know each other a little bit before they're actually forced to live with each other. I'm gonna wait until dark to let them out of the cage because chickens are much more calm at night and it's just less stressful for the birds. Moving the chickens, integrating the flock, it's one of the most stressful times to be a chicken. And I just want it to be a little bit easier for them. Ready for your big adventure? Here we go. Just sit up there so that it doesn't fall down. And I'll have you uh, 
can drive it right on up. I'll make sure the cage doesn't fall. All right. I'll go in backwards just because it's more difficult. There we go. Everybody play nice. And I'll get them some water. We'll put it right in there. It'll be just fine. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's been fun. Oh, yes. So when I came up to your property, I was like, okay. Make sure it's not electric. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's try feed it. They've had some branch treats already, but let's go ahead and give them a grain treat. Okay. So, does this make you uh, want to have animals more or less? Oh, I could deal with it. I definitely could have a few, not as many as you have. <laughs> definitely. Hi, you. Easy. I'm surprised the other goats haven't figured it out yet. Where are you going? <laughs> You're gonna hang yourself, dude. <laughs> yeah, they get they get uh, excited about it. Shake it a little so they know that's there. Oh, yeah, everybody knows what it is now. <laughs> everybody knows what it is now. Usually what, what I'll do is I'll just kind of put it down in the tray for him. Just reach right in through and kind of dump it in there. If you can reach it. You just dump it through the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's harder than other times. Wow. You guys are killing me. There we go. There we go. Hey, you guys on the other side are getting the raw hands <laughs> stickier. <laughs> and someone has it all over their hair. Yeah, oh me. my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Enjoy. Bon appetit. Yeah, feeding the goats is one of the favorite jobs around here. My absolute top favorite job of anything was doing the bottle baby goats when they were little literally bottles for the goats you put them right through the fence they just so cute adorable <laughs>